Uh, let's pick some, uh, some fresh faces. So what noise are you Hey. Hey, Brandon. How are you? Um, I, I just have to say one thing. Okay. Um, it's to add on a floor from the hit game, Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. Can you? I could not. Wait, oh, it disappeared. You disappeared. What 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 did he say? Did you, did you catch what he said? He said I just wanted to add uh, something else. I did here too. Let's move on. <laughs> All right. Well, back to your house. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, anything is possible. Hello. Hi. I got to play in the alpha. It was a lot of fun. But I was kind of curious. Will the game have more game modes? Uh, or is it just limited to those two? So we're going to have game modes that you are familiar with in the hero shooter genre. But watch out for more because Marvel Rival has its own spin to a lot of stuff. Okay. Uh, thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for joining us. All right, moving on. Hi, how's it going, guys? It's, uh, I don't, can I be heard? I want to double check. <laughs> Am I quiet? Nope. No, we're loud. Okay, so I want to double check. Hi, guys. Nice to talk to you. Um, I did have a couple questions. I won't take too much of your time. My first question, because I just wanted to know, for the current roster of characters, what made you guys choose the said current roster like what made you guys like is like namor for example for me i felt that was really out of left field which i thought was awesome so when we pick a roster like 70 percent, about 70 percent of it it's going to be pros that is well known and you know the greatest hit now the other we want to throw in a curveball and deep cut that you may or may not know about and hopefully through this game you'll learn more about those characters Sweet. That's awesome. Um, another, this is a burning question for me, if you obviously couldn't tell. I had noticed that you guys were using Dr. Doom as kind of like a part of the story. Um, with Along with that, I know you guys probably can't answer this question, but is there a future iteration where he will be playable? Possibly. Maybe. Maybe? Maybe. I'll take it. I'll take that answer. <laughs> yes. All right. I think that's all I really had. Uh, you guys are doing great. I love the project and how it's going so far. I can't wait to see more. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All right. Going on uh, going next. Uh, hi, um, I'm very curious about this game. I was just wondering, uh, do you guys have any plans to add skill-based matchmaking for casual modes? That's a good question. And uh, I don't think we're talking about exactly how the matchmaking is working yet in terms of uh, skill-based, but typically for a casual mode, it's more pick up and play. And we would want to ensure that, you know, we didn't necessarily pit the best players against the worst players and so on. So that'll be a factor. And we'll talk more about that in the future as we get closer to launch. All right. Well, thank you. No problem. Those are, those are things that, you know, require a lot of iteration, a lot of tuning, and a lot of feedback from the community as well. So, you know, keep Yeah, because everybody has different opinions on it. I don't like it, but a lot of people will. Yep, exactly. So. All right. Thank you. Oops. Invite some fresh faces. Oh, hello. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. So first off, unfortunately, I did not get selected to play in the alpha, but I'm obsessed with watching gameplay. Literally watching heroes, I know I'm probably never going to play and all that stuff. I did have a question, though, because unfortunately, I'm mostly PC. And my friends are on console. If I get lucky enough and get selected, will I be able to invite them to play? Or is it like one one invite, two invites? So if you and your friends are invited, 
So if you're on a PC and they're on a console, you will be able to play together. Okay, but is there a way to like, like say if I get selected and they don't, can I get like a code to invite them or no? Um, I'm not sure how to invite work yet. We will announce the logistic end of this month, mm-hmm. so everyone will. All right, well, that's all I had. Thank you guys so much. The great game looks great. Keep it up, and I can't wait to play it. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you. All right, moving on. 302. Hi, guys. Hello. Um, so I'm from Brazil. Sorry if my English is not so so good, but I am loving this game. I I played Overwatch for a lot of time, uh, and I love hero shooters. Uh, this question probably uh, you guys e- isn't uh, able to answer, but when we will uh, have a date a date about the closed beta? You'll hear more about the closed beta at the and it'll. Sometime at the end of July that we actually have it. So you'll hear more soon. And then the actual test is at the end of July. Oh, thank you very much, guys. The project is really, really nice. I I am love it. Thank you. We're glad you're excited. Oh, my daughter is ordered. (laughs) (laughs) His food is here. Right. Hey, oh. someone's here. Sup, Don? Are you All asking right. questions for the radio? <laughs> I just finally joined. Don't mind me. All right. Um, doing some uh, fresh faces here. Oh, Sasuke, what's up? All right. <laughs> hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I love the game, by the way. I do have a question, though. I know Venom's coming in out really soon. Um, is there any possible way? What's coming up in the future? Like any sneak peeks besides Venom? Like anything like a, D- a Marvel character that everybody likes or enjoys? Something in the comics? So for future roster beyond what we have announced, stay tuned. Because uh, as I have explained earlier, um, there will be fan favorites and greatest hit coming. And there will also be curveball and unknown deep cut, if you will. Um, there will always be superheroes slash supervillains that uh, people will enjoy. Well, I just got to say, hopefully, hopefully Ghost Rider comes out. I, I, that's like one of my biggest ones. And also, uh, uh, what's it called? The guy from Fantastic Force, uh, Torch, what's his name again? Flame on, dude. Hopefully he comes out in the future, too. That'll be incredible fighting him versus Iron Man. Because I'm an Iron Man main right now at the moment. So hopefully we can see something cool. All right. If I get this right, you just like to be on fire at all times. Yeah, pretty much. I just like flying a lot in the game. And we just burning questions. Yeah, yes. yes, it is. It's really burning. <laughs> all right, then. Thank you. That's all I needed, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Hello. Hello. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice to talk to you guys, but um, I just had a couple questions. I'm not sure if this was axed already, but for the next closed beta, will there be any major changes to the rank system? And there will be, will there be other opportunities to compete in the tournament? Like there was. I don't. I'm not aware currently of any major changes to the ranking system. You know. So, so for Alpha, uh, when you come out of Alpha, all the data are wiped. So everybody got to rank again, and we'll we'll be sure to bring back the fan favorite, you know, competition again, hopefully, and um, you know, further improve the the matchmaking system uh, as we progress. Yep. Um, that there'll be a lot of fun, and then um, it's gonna be a way larger scale than the Alpha, like significantly larger. So I'm sure you will you you will find more uh, different play style, different players from around the world to join you. All right, sounds good. Thank you so much for letting me talk. And the game was awesome. So excited to play again. All right.
Hey guys, just had a quick question. Um, with the Scarlet Witch exclusive skin that was in the alpha, is that going to be only in the alpha, never available again? Uh, or is it going to maybe like pop up in the future? Any any thoughts on that? So as of now, the Scarlet Witch alpha skin is close alpha test exclusive. Perfect. No, that's but amazing. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> yeah. You know, with 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 the talented team at Netis Games, like that will be a lot more fantastical costume that everyone can enjoy across all characters. So don't worry about it. <laughs> Not worried. Skins and art, the artistry is fantastic. It's it's amazing. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, guys. Hello. Um, I just had a question about um, the season bonus because sometimes I feel people will just play a character that have a season bonus and in rank L at least uh, there wasn't that much uh, diversity in the in the comp. So I wanted to know: Are you guys gonna change those or you're gonna let it uh, like that? Listen, I'm not quite sure I understood. Could could you repeat the just... question, please? Like if you guys are gonna change um, the season bonus on the character, because sometimes, uh, I, you know, it, we all, we're always looking for feedback on those kinds of features and that kind of implementation. So if you've got feedback, you know, make sure you're you're putting it in the Discord channel, and there'll be a lot of changes, probably a lot of little changes, especially as we fine tune the game. You know, the the player feedback is very important to us, and it it really helps us dial in the fun. So. You know, I, I don't want to say that we are or we aren't. I don't know the exact specifics at the moment, but mm -hmm. it, that would be the kind of thing that we would look at for sure. Yeah, and as this genre gets more popular in the hero shooter genre, there will be a lot of uh, different play style of uh, gamers coming from different games, right? Some people, it's more strategic. Some people would be more like run and guns, like shoot at everything that moves, like from the Call of Duty world. <laughs> yes. And, you know, some people just like to play with friends with no pressure. So, you know, there, there's certainly uh, a lot of consideration to, to like, cater to majority of the player. Let's, let's put it that way. Right. And, mm -hmm. of course, competition is a whole different thing. Some people just like to be competitive. And we would like to also f facilitate that as well. All right. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That's all I wanted to know. Keep up the great work. Yeah. Yeah. We, I... Um. Hello. Uh, can hello, you hello. guys hear me? Yeah. Uh, uh, question real quick. Uh. Well, first, so, sorry for my English. I'm Mexican, so I don't have any. Uh practicing my English, but uh, my question is, uh, are you guys thinking about adding more spider people? Because I think that Miles Morales can, well, deserves like um, to be an original character, well, a separate character from Spider-Man. So we want, this is a Marvel Universe title, uh, not like a Spider-Man game, like all from the Spider Universe. Uh, um, there's a lot of uh, fan favorite characters that, that you know, from the like, Discord community, from the internet, everybody wants their favorite <laughs> in this game. I mean, there are over nine thousand Marvel characters in the Marvel Universe, and that, well, that's abundance of it. Um, you know, I, I'll just say, to, you know, let us know who your favorites are, or what you want to see in the future. And who knows, uh, your character might show up. Yeah, you know, we hear all kinds of weird things. We had somebody suggest Howard the Duck today. So, you know, don't yeah. be shy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Love your game. Thank you. And then I found a Hulk meme. Uh, Hulk meme, you are mute. Okay, there you go. Hello. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Hello. All right. Uh, I just had a question about, like, from the beta test characters, uh, is, do you think there's any going to be any dramatic changes to any of them at all after, like, the play test? Or do you think they're all just going to stay relatively, like, the same, except, like, tweak, like, damage and stuff like that? Uh, there, there will be tweaks and there will be exploit uh, fixes. I'm watching you, Doctor Strange player. 
<laughs> uh, oh yeah, that portal's a that portal's definitely gonna big gimmick. It's a menace. Bring me pictures of that. <laughs> All right, that's my only question. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. Hi, guys. What is the rep? Can y'all hear me? Hi. Sorry. Hey, Sorry. hey, hey. Um, so my question is, I mean, as you probably know, there's a bunch of huge, huge, huge comic fans here, probably, maybe. Was curious <laughs> if you think there might be any future comic titans at all with the game or releases of more cinematics or things like that because i know a lot of us we really crave the lore and the things like that so i was curious what your thoughts were on that in the future um uh, yeah we are very excited for all these possibilities that we could do with the lore of uh, and the narrative of uh, marvel rivals and i would just say just like you would have like in like in the uh, uh, tokyo web world watch the sky Right, just watch the sky for more news uh, in regards to all that stuff. Cool, awesome, great. Well, thanks you guys. And if you guys ever add Moon Knight, I'm very excited for him. I think he's going to be a great <laughs> addition to the game if you do it, Adam. I think that's the first time we've heard that. Oh wait, no. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Not a lot of Moon, Moon Knight it. fans at all. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you guys. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we have one. Well, last one, and we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we we're going to run. So. All right, wrapping it up. Um, do you want me to mm -hmm. ask a random one from chat? Sure. Uh, do you want to pull pull the last one, Warren? Yeah. Okay. So someone asked. Um, so you guys, you know, choose characters and abilities uh, through brainstorming ex exercises. But how do you choose what classes to put characters in? Because there's been some surprise picks for strategists and vanguard. So we would like to start off with like the character roster first, right? And then we'll kind of like identify, you know, the, 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 the top three things about that particular characters. And once we figure out what it might, what makes them iconic, then we go into making the skills and, and assigning a role to it, right? The character comes first, first and foremost. It's never about the role first. I think that that was it, guys. That was yep. that was our last one then. All right. All right. Thank now, thanks, thanks, thanks for the quick impromptu today's day two Sunday live at uh, Summer Game Fest. Uh, hopefully, we maybe do one tomorrow. Let's see to wrap it up. Yeah. Yes. That'd be I'm awesome. Okay with that. That's You're okay. Great. Okay. All right. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Bye, guys. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause to Danny, Fad, and Paul. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Cheers, guys.